Hi, it's Phil here. Today I'm going to go through what NDI is, Network Data Interface. It's used to send video and audio from one device to another. Now, typically that might be a camera sending an NDI signal, which includes the audio and the vis visuals, to a receiving device, which might be a computer or recording program. However, NDI can also be used to send uh, video and audio from one computer to another. So you can select uh, a whole desktop to show, uh, which is typically seen when you're looking at something where it says screen sharing, or you can even send a single window from an application to another. So you can just view that particular window if you like using NDI and there's ways to set that and show that. Now on the screen that we've got here in front of me, um, this is the NDI launcher and there's a variety of NDI tools. These are all free tools. Uh, I'm on the Mac. There's a slightly different availability for the Windows computer users, uh, but these are going to be used by um, creatives, people in the creatives industry, live streamers, those kind of people, people who want to uh, make content based upon viewing something on the screen. Now, also, I'll just say that a lot of computer software programs include these tools already, but it'd be quite nice for you to get an understanding of what these do, and they may offer you some additional features and functionality, especially if you're sharing data or screen uh, real estate from one computer to another. So let's jump into it. We've got the NDI tools uh, interface written uh, straight in front of us here. The way to get to that, you can go to the NDI website and let me just click on this. If I click on this NDI video, that will actually launch the um, page for us. And you'll see this is the NDI port page. It's ndi.video. Uh, is the shortcut or the URL to get to. Uh, there's a, a camera app offer on right at the moment. This is 2024 that I'm talking to you. I'll just close that for a moment. And what you would do is you'd go to, to the top area here where a cursor is and click on download NDI tools. And if you click on that, you'll then get the option to go for a Windows download or the Mac OS download. And here we're talking about version 6.1. So it's the very latest version uh, in December of 2024. Hopefully there'll be later versions offering even more functionality. NDI has been around for a very long time. If I just close that again, we can see that there's a set of tools for Windows users and a set of tools for Mac OS users. And I'll show you what most of them are for. This little talk is very low level. It's not a high level NDI talk. It's just to give you a basic understanding of what you might be getting. So for me, I would click on the Mac, uh, Mac OS download and get it from there. That would then give you this whole launcher kit. Now on my screen, you might see that just here, in blue it says update 6.1 and that's because I'm actually running a slightly older version. I've updated it on my other computers but I wanted to show you where that update was if you've already got the NDI launcher on your computer. That's where you'd actually see whether there is an update available. If there is, I highly recommend you click on it and that will take you back to that page to download the latest version. Where it says change list just here in red that means there is no further updates available to you uh, it will just give you the list of the things that they've updated in the last uh, update that they released okay so that is that now so this window offers several miniature ndi applications and what we're going to do is I'm going to start with the one on the on the right here at the, to, to begin with because it kind of makes things easier to show. So Scan Converter is a kind of a confusing 
name. I think we, I wish they'd changed it, but essentially it says in the screen, and what I'll do is I'll just double click to launch this bigger. If I roll over, it says present a computer display or an application window as an NDI output. We're on NDI launcher at the moment, so that's this window. If I click on scan converter, that will launch the scan converter application. And we'll see that again at the top of the screen, it actually says scan converter up there. And what we can do then is select our capture. And so what this means is that we can then select which window or even the whole desktop that we want to be able to send out as an NDI feed so that somebody with a receiving display can see that hot either whole window or single application. So there's a lot of things that I could choose here. I could even choose that I wanted to show the dock or individual elements of the screen. So they're all listed. Anything that's on the screen uh, is listed so that you can show that if you want to. So I'm just going to minimize this again just for a second. Uh, we'll stay in the scan converter. And if I go to capture and I select, let's say that I want to show the dock. So the dock is obviously this area here. If I show the dock, then capture says that the dock is being sent out via an NDI feed. So somebody with a monitor that's monitoring NDI on your local network can see that dock. And let me show you how that works because the next feature, which is the video monitor, make it big again. It says here, you can view and listen to the NDI source uh, selected in real time. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to just minimize this once more, click on video monitor, and that launches a window that we can actually then say, well, I want to look at whatever's being broadcast on your network via NDI. And you don't have to do anything special. This is doing it for you. We've already selected through the scan converter. So just go back, scan converter. I've said I want to send out my dock image via NDI. My video monitor is here now. And at the top, just here above my head. And again, I'll just turn me off. Just up there, you can say, which NDI feed do you want to see? And if I go to my five, this is on my 5K iMac actually, it says scan converter. If I show that, then whatever I've sent via the scan converter in NDI on my Mac is going to show up in the window. And quite easily, I think you can see that the dock is there. Uh, I can't make it bigger that way, but maybe I can make it bigger that way. So we can see the dock. And in fact, you'll see that as I roll over the dock on the left, the dock that's being shown in the video monitor window is actually updating in real time. There's very, very little lag between the two. Now that's all on the same computer, but you might be able to imagine that you could do this on another computer or a camera. So you can quite easily send a screen to another computer so long as it's over on your normal network. So you might be able to do that with a, a phone. And if your phone is running an application, so if I've got, I've got an application on my phone, which is NDI HX camera, you'll probably won't see that, but I'm about to launch NDI HX camera. NDI HX camera is sending a video feed to the network. And so what I can then do is select on the top here that I want to go to see the iPhone NDI HX camera feed. If I click on it, then just mute myself so we don't get feedback. You can see that that's actually now recording on the on the computer and everything that I've got in front of me. So that's being sent via the 
NDI HX feed. So I can turn that off here or I can just quit the NDI video monitor application. So I'll turn it off of my phone and I'm back to the window here. So the video monitor is really great if you want to show a NDI feed somewhere and that can be a, as I say a whole screen or you can select a single window from an application very easily. So that's what the video monitor is. Now we come to virtual input. Virtual input is typically used by developers so that they can add an NDI feed into their application. So it says here, send an NDI video, i.e. something like my camera feed into a webcam application. So that's what virtual input would do. But virtual input will send NDI video from a camera through an app. The NDI HX camera app is available on Android and iOS phones. Below that, we have some other sections. We've got a thing called test patterns. Let me minimize this once more. Let's open up the video monitor. So now remember, we've got a video monitor that's looking out for anything that might be sending NDI signals on your network. And if I go to the test pattern, then we can send out a test pattern and an audio sound to the monitor. So that test patterns will now allow me to go into the video monitor, go to the selection, and you'll see that test patterns is now one of the things that's available to me. And if I click on test patterns, you can hear that that's actually sending out that signal if I select a different test pattern. So I'll stop that just now. That allows you to test your monitor um, if you're monitoring on a separate device altogether and want to just monitor an NDI feed, you can use the test patterns to select you know, a screen and a sound to make sure that it's all running properly for you. So I'll just quit that once more. But that is quite clear that that's what that's actually doing. If Other than that, you're not really as a single user going to be using the router or the access manager. That's for higher network requirements where you've got multiple feeds going into multiple receivers. So I'm not going to go through those. And I'm very briefly going to say that if you're running Final Cut Pro or After Effects or Premiere Pro, you can select that here and this will add an NDI out to each of those three applications, allowing you to use the functionality of receiving that data on another screen. So you can then select that you want to output uh, within Premiere Pro or After Effects or Final Cut Pro an NDI feed, which would then be allowed to pick up uh, in a video monitor uh, something that listens for the NDI source. So I hope that has been of use to you. If you have any questions regarding this and would like to ask about NDI and NDI feeds, please put something in the comments. Make sure you remember to like and subscribe this video if it's been helpful for you. And I look forward to helping you again in the near future. Bye for now.